Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka Mono Blue Tron, back again with another episode of 10 Minute Testing. So I've been jamming a deck I've been calling Triple Garnet ABC on stream for the last couple of days, and you can only summon an A into a B off of a gadget so many times before you think, there must be something less broken I can be doing with these cards. Well, lo and behold, Konami's nostalgia department must have heard my demands, because what should be released over the last couple of days but new v Hickroid support. So, let's jump into deck edit and see what the best deck this side of Water Dragon Cluster looks like. So, here's the list. Now, you'll notice there are some... <laughs> just some awful cards in here. So, I'll give you a little discussion about the history of the archetype, a description of what I hope the deck can do, and as always, the card by card. So first, for those of you who don't know, Roids are another GX-era archetype that Konami is trying to breathe life into. At this point, I just sort of assume the Konami executives are laughing their asses off at what they used to release as support and figure, hey, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, Gyroid Turbo isn't going to be meta no matter what we release. I actually remember my brother and I were trying to teach my now 60-year-old father how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2006 with a Roid deck, and he quit in disgust after about an hour because he couldn't take any games off of us. <laughs> it sucked back then, too. Uh, Vehicroids, not to be confused with Speedroids and Dark Jeroid, are machine-type monsters that all look like vehicles with googly eyes attached. They don't really do anything, all their effects are random, and the only thing that really ties them together is a series of hyper-specific fusions, a pretty good polymerization knockoff, and Expressroid's massive plussing effect. While Drillroid actually saw a fair amount of play in a simpler time with defense position monsters, the archetype was almost exclusively memes from printing until now. Then Konami released a couple of cards that might make the deck tolerable. The new cards, Mixroid, Redroid Call, and the token busted field spell, Megaroid City, give the deck something to do. That something is the new fusion monster, Super Vehicroid Mobile Base, an actually pretty good defensive monster that gets a lot better when the fusion spell prevents it from being destroyed by anything but battle. By using the gadgets and the rank engine to help us survive the early game, once we've hit a critical mass of roids in the graveyard for Mixroid's effect or a few city searches, then we can drop all pretense and cheat out a bunch of really busted monsters from the extra deck. So with that, let's jump into the deck. First, we have the new ABC Monsters, three copies of Mixroid. This guy can tribute a machine to special a non-wind roid from your deck, conveniently missing itself and speed roids. From Grave, you can banish this card and any number of machines to cheat out a roid fusion, although it dies during the end phase. Next is three copies of Express Roid, whose effect we probably won't ever use unless we get off a sweet future fusion. After that is three Submarine Roid, unfortunately just barely out of range of machine dupe. Next, we've got our personal Garnet, Cyber Dragon, following him up is three gold gadgets and three silver gadgets who should slow down the game and enable rank four plays. That is all of our monsters. Next is three city, which has two effects. First, you can destroy a card you control and snag a roid card to your hand. Then you can flip flop the attack and defense of a battling roid monster, which comes in handy for our 5,000 defense boss. Unfortunately, if you use either of these effects, you can't special from the extra except to make a roid fusion. Three copies of terraforming, three instant fusion to get our psychroid since Superman needs a fusion as a material, and three vehicroid connection zone. This is polymerization for vehicroids, but the monster you get cannot be destroyed by spells, traps, or monster effects, and its effect cannot be negated. Unfortunately, it does not get non vehicleroid but still Roid monsters, which uh, unfortunately is several of the fusions. Next, we have three copies of Dupe for our six targets, one Future Fusion for meme value, and one Regeki to line out our spells. Traps, we have three Red Roid Call, which is solemn if you have a fusion which banishes all copies from your opponent's deck after you activate it and returns a Roid in your grave to your hand if you banish it. We're also playing the Solemn Boys and one copy of Torrential, since our people are largely unaffected by it. In the extra, we have Barbaroid, making a triumphant return from Cosmo, two copies of Mobile Base, which can target a face-up monster your opponent controls, then special a Roid monster from your deck or extra with attack less than that monster's. He also has an effect about zone movement, but uh... We won't worry about that till links come out. One copy of Stealth Union made up of the worst roids who pierces, sucks at attacking, and has a sort of relinquished effect. One Jumbo Drill who pierces, one Chimeratech Man for future fusion, two Pair Psychroid for instant fusion, and one Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman. Uh, I'm just playing this card because it's funny. I, I know it isn't good, but technically Necroid is a roid. Uh, after that are our fours, the Utopias, one Tomato Dragon, an Abyss Dweller, a Castell, and a Gear Gigant. So with that, let's get into the games. 
Our first match is up against someone who obviously has not seen Strings as Ark in Yu-Gi-Oh. You can't put Revival Jam and Infinite cards in the same deck. What if you deck yourself with Card of Safe Return? Uh, <laughs> I, I like to start with the wonkiest deck and progressively get more meta. We've opened pretty badly, actually, and unfortunately we're on the draw. Our opponent is going to oh, set three and pass two, leaving the Mirror Force in hand, always where you want that to be. We do draw into a Future Fusion, so maybe this is going to be one of those games where we mill our entire deck. We'll make a Submarine Roid just in case he's playing some sort of stun variant that will let this guy live. He just passes it back, and what do you know, we do get to mill about 18 cards from our deck by revealing this Chimera tech. Thankfully, do not draw our Cyber Dragon for a turn. We'll attack, and I really wanted this monster to stay on the field because I have access to the big fusion, but without something to go into as a result of the fusion, it's not really worth doing. So we're going to go into a Tornado Dragon. We're going to destroy our own future fusion, because when Chimera tech comes out, it destroys everything else on the field, including the fusion, which then destroys it, so we have to be a little careful about it. Um, my Express Word is going to add two of these guys to my hand, uh, just because I, every other card is in my graveyard, effectively, and I need something to use this Vehicroid Connection Zone. I'm going to use Mobile Base, target this Revival Gem, get a second Mobile Base, and sit. Now we enter the sitting stage of the game, and eventually we should be able to win. We've drawn basically every stun trap in existence, so I don't expect our opponent to really be able to do anything. Worst case scenario, we can just Torrential, and one of our monsters will survive, uh, because it was, of course, summoned with Vehicroid Connection Zone. Um, the... End game for our opponent, I believe, is summoning Obelisk, and after normal summoning a Defender and passing it back, I am uh, pretty sure that he's gearing up for an intense Tribute Summon, and as soon as I see Obelisk, I realize I was right. When he activates the effect, I will Red Roid Call, which negates it, uh, and then, of course, I have the Regeki in hand to answer afterwards. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. I'll activate Megaroid City and end my turn, returning once more to the waiting game, and our opponent, I think, is a little sick of being in this match, so they'll attack our monster with one of their really very good defensive options. Uh, we'll use Mixroid's effect to get ourselves a copy of Jumbo Drill, and we will attack for lethal, uh, negating his enchanted javelin with our Redroid call. Our second match is up against Lost World Dinos, and our opponent is playing a much more stun-oriented variant of this deck. He's got Quakings, Concealings, and he's maxed out on Dark Holes. Interesting tech choices. We've opened very poorly. We have our Garnet and a bunch of monsters that effectively do nothing. We'll go first, use this Mixroid to get a Submarine Roid, just setting up the graveyard for future turns. Our opponent is going to draw into a second Concealing, set to and pass the old Double Brick. Uh, we still can't really do anything. We'll use this Mixroid for another Submarine Roid, go into Giergen Gigant. X, add a silver gadget to our hand, hopefully to make a rank 4 next turn, get Quaking and end our turn. Our opponent is going to draw into an Overraptor, and I think, boy, that is the best target for Solemn in the deck. I will gladly do that. Uh, during my turn, I'm going to use Silver Gadget to Special Summon Express Roid, add two copies of Mixroid back to my hand, preparing for a longer, grindier game that I probably shouldn't be, and then I'll use Tornado Dragon's effect to destroy this set card, thinking maybe it's another Quaking. It turns out to be a bluff, and I pass it back. He uses Swords of Concealing. I'm going to use Tornado Dragon's MS effect to negate. He's gonna reveal it was a bait for Lost World, and then immediately walk into his egg token with a Baby source, sending an ultimate Tyranno I expect for a future play. Unfortunately, we don't really have any capacity to OTK him. We're just gonna be able to do a little bit of damage and switch the Submarine Roid to defense mode, setting a Solemn, which is fine, I guess. He's gonna normal summon this Megalo Smasher, which is not good for us. Um, now our board is completely full. He's gonna destroy this Baby source for an Overaptor. I have a strike set, but I don't know if he has a copy of you know, Ultimate Conductor in hand, and he's just next leveling me all the way to hell, so I will save it for the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I also don't hate if he has monsters on his side of the board, because it means I'll have stuff to run into. I'm going to have to run into something in order to get five monsters in my graveyard and be able to make a fusion play this turn. I will walk into the Xyz Dragon and then make a pair Psychroid, then Connection Zone into a mobile base, ending my turn. Unfortunately, I can't target any of his monsters, because I still have a Jureg on my side of the board, but I do have plans for that. He's going to get Salamandra in order to make a big in infinity. Uh, he is going to use Pterodon to get that infinity and then walk into everything he possibly can. Uh, since I still have one token, all I have to do is tribute it and then once again I can target my own monsters. Thank you, Machine Duplication. Uh, this is actually lethal if I attack the two lowest attack monsters, but I have spicier plans for this game. Uh, at the end of the turn, I'm going to use Viroid Connection Zone to go into another copy of Mobile Base. Uh, he's going to draw, uh, summon another copy of Infinity, but unfortunately cannot out all of the monsters on board, so makes a Lagia and ends his turn. Turn. Now it's time to get dangerously cheesy. After trying to bait with terraforming, I'm going to use Mixroid's effect to go into Parasycroid, which can attack directly for lethal.
Well, we tried our hardest, but eventually we were going to have to play against a good deck. Our opponent is on TD Eidolon, which I think is a pretty interesting mix that we'll see a lot more of in the coming months. We've opened uh, okay, but God knows if we can play through the multiple pieces of disruption. I expect to see, especially since my opponent is going first. They'll activate Reckless Magic, then A-Lister to get an Invocation, then a copy of Set Rotation in order to get a Diagram and give us a Reckless Magic. Afterwards, they'll use Disciples to Tribute Summon Dynamite Knuckle, draw a card off of Succession, use a Terraforming for another diagram and end their turn. I'm not feeling great right now. <laughs> I'll flip up this Reckless and then go into Megaroid City, giving him a copy of Revival. Then I'll use Gold Gadget and some Marineroid and then destroy this card for a copy of Connection Zone. Now, this means I don't get to go into a rank four, but I figure I'm really not going to get out of this game with a Connection Zone anyway, and hopefully these monsters are resilient enough that I'll still be able to make my play. I'll use Gold Gadget's effect to get Silver Gadget, then use Silver Gadget's effect to summon a guy from my hand. He's going to go into an Invocation for a Merkba and then another for a Rydeen, immediately tributing it for a Masterpiece and destroying one of my monsters with the Revival. Now, we can go off from this position, but it's going to require a couple of things to happen correctly. First, this Silver Gadget getting a Gold Gadget uh, is going to have to use its effect to Special Summon. That gets negated, which is part one of my plan, but unfortunately part two involves Machine Duping the card that just got killed by Masterpiece, and uh, <laughs> that's the end of the game. So, we're back with the deck. Has this deck finally ascended from meme status to actual playability? Um, no, no, it hasn't. Uh, unfortunately, like basically every piece of nostalgia support, it is just not good enough. I'm kind of feeling like my dad right now. I'm ready to hang the deck up for good after losing so definitively. I think there are cool plays available in the deck, but I don't think they're nearly good enough to stand up to the punch other decks pack. Still, there's something beautiful about winning a game with a submarine road in your deck, and honestly, I can't be mad about that. So, that's that. I hope you enjoyed my desperate attempt to wipe away 10 years of garbage support that Konami has used to, I don't know, poke fun at the three people who still play this deck. Um, <laughs> if you want to see me play the decks I make on this show on stream, I'm on twitch.tv slash monobluetron every Monday and Wednesday from 10 to noon Eastern Standard Time. Links are in the description. And if you have an idea for a certain deck or archetype you want to see played on a future episode of this show, let me know in the comment section below and I will do my best to accommodate you. Otherwise, I will see you Sunday.